Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making toaster oven cloud eggs. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. So let's start by grabbing however many eggs that you want to do this with. Crack them open, making sure you only get the egg whites out. Uh, just take your time doing this, be very careful while you're doing it. I'm going to show you with two eggs and I actually did this a few times and I'm going to show you guys my failures with that as well. But crack your egg carefully, add your salt and pepper, save your yolk in half of the eggshell, put that aside so it doesn't fall out, and grab a regular hand mixer and blend this on low for three minutes. The full three minutes is what you're going to need. You're going to see how nice and thick it gets. It's going to be fluffy and stiff and this is the perfect way you want to make cloud eggs. Now that everything's nicely mixed up and you have it firm and stiff where you can make the perfect cloud eggs, grab a parchment lined baking sheet. This is just a baking sheet that came with my toaster oven so I just put my parchment paper on top and I'm going to try to spread this out as equally as possible to make my clouds. You'll find that there's going to be a lot so make them as large as you want or discard the rest of it but that's up to you. And I'm making a little pocket in my cloud. That's where I'm going to put my egg yolk. So make your little pocket, however deep you'd like it. Add whatever excess that you have left around it so you have your pocket made and then you can work around that. And then grab your egg yolks carefully, placing them inside of your pockets without breaking them. Look how pretty that already looks. We're gonna bake these at 400 degrees for four to five minutes. But I wanted to show you my failures. This was baked at eight minutes, too long. Keep an eye on it, you never know your toaster ovens. This I tried to hurry up and make another attempt and I whipped it on a high setting for three minutes and it was horrible. They look like deflated bosoms. And then my final attempt, they came out nice and perfectly. One side is a little bit more cooked than the other but this is for like over medium eggs which is how I personally like my eggs. Alright so our cloud eggs are done and if you're going to be extra like me, let's make a tomato rose. It's like the avocado rose in a way but a little different because we're just going to use one small tomato and slowly peel off the skin. I'm cutting this a little bit thicker than the actual skin because I want to be able to do this without having any part of it break because we don't want to have any of the skin break off otherwise it's going to defeat the purpose so we want one whole long piece. Definitely take your time. I didn't even speed this part up because I wanted you guys to see how slow I'm going with this. Now go ahead and lay it flat stretching it out without tearing any parts of it and start rolling it as tight as you possibly can. It will slip apart. You're going to have to pinch it with your fingers and kind of hold things in place. But go ahead and roll it all the way from one end to the other. Again, take your time. Don't rush this. This is not one of those things with the speed thing. Just take your time doing this. I'm going to stop talking and let you guys watch. pretty and just because I like avocados I went ahead and grabbed one ripe avocado peeled the skin off of both I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with this I ended up just slicing them both thinly on each side and to me it looks like wings I just made wings you guys will see it in just a minute but I did slice them on both sides equally up until I got to the pit so this is the final look and I wanted you guys to see the egg yolk because that is so so good. I really liked how it turned out. If you guys like this recipe please subscribe and until the next meal thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.